When it comes to body positivity, entertainer Lizzo says, it's not a label I wanted to put on myself, it's just my existence. Her recent show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, featured people trying out to become one of Lizzo's backup dancers. When it came to qualifications, confidence outweighed the body. It's hard to love yourself in a world that doesn't love you back, you know what I mean? But y'all are so beautiful and so talented, and I want you to believe the sexy that comes out of y'all today, because you're gonna need that when we're on stage representing. It's gonna inspire so many people. Come in, give me a hug. <laughs> One of the people who tried out is Sydney Bell. She's been dancing since three and was on the College Park cheer team before becoming dance captain in college. She's here to share when the bell went off in her head to finally accept her idea of positive body image. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's so great to see you. Thank you. Um, all right, your mother was your first dance teacher. In fact, you were almost out of the womb dancing. Basically, yes. <laughs> so my mom and I have always been super close. And I think one day I was like, literally three years old and I was like dance dance I want to dance and so she put me in my first dance class in New York she was my first dance teacher and from then she supported me all, all along the way yeah so. what did you love about dancing at that young age I think a lot of kids like to move around right but yeah but you really you you're moving around was a little more coordinated than most <laughs> other people's moving around yeah I really liked like at a young age I'm somebody that's always been very um, emotional in good ways and like, you know, overly emotional when it comes mm -hmm. to sad days as well. But I just love the ability to at a young age be able to go to something where I was able to express myself through movement, those emotions through movement. So um, just really having that deep connection and that emotional connection to dance at a young age has helped me, you know, growing up along the way um, yeah. in that aspect of things. And you talk about sad days even, and it's interesting because we know that exercise helps people when they're sad, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Not that you had depression, but even people with depression, part of their therapy is to move and mm -hmm. exercise. But music also has that ability. So you put both of them together and Absolutely. we solved some problems in the world, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> and that's what I like to say. Like for me, my my fitness is dance as well. Like yeah. a lot of people think that fitness is just going and running on the treadmill or, you know, lifting weights all the time. Dance is fitness just as well yeah. and it's fun. With that said, you're a curvy girl. Yes. But you always were through high school. And I know when I was in high school, it, it would go as far as, you know, they would have weight ins for girls on the dance team. Oh, they yeah. have weigh-ins for yeah. the cheerleaders. Uh, you were on the cheer team. Mm -hmm. You were curvy, but yes. it was okay at the time? Or did did they think it was okay, but you didn't? What was that battle that you were going yeah. uh, between in your own head? So like I said, like growing up, I was always supported by my family, by my mm -hmm. mom and dad. I remember I was like questioning. I was like, should I even try out for the cheer team? I don't see anyone that looks like me. And my mom was like, you better try out for that cheer <laughs> team. And my dad drove me to practice and all of that stuff. So they were very supportive of it. And, you know, that allowed me to have that confidence within myself to even audition and try out and making it. Thankfully, I had a very nice and supportive uh, cheer coach who, you know, allowed me to be in front row, not because of my size, but because of my talent. Mm -hmm. And so that really helped. But I tell people a lot, like, you don't have a lack of confidence when you're born. It's when you go out into the mm -hmm. world and hear other people's opinions and start to question your worth. So being a cheerleader in high school was always okay with me. But once, you know, the bully started coming into play and the name calling, that kind of made me question, like, if this is something I wanted to continue to do. Right. You did when you went off to college. Did, and yes. and you, you became the dance captain in college and mm -hmm. you still did well, mm -hmm. uh, despite being the curvy girl in, yeah. the, in the rail thin world, um, but it, things started to get to you, mm -hmm. and and you thought maybe I need to change my body, and you had the depression and the anxiety of mm -hmm. maybe I need to look like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, you had an eating disorder. I did, yeah. So, um, you know, going off to college and like being on your own, it's hard. Like you, you know, I experienced a lot of anxious times, a lot of depression, um, and I was actually at the time before even going to college prescribed to. A, a medication called Adderall mm -hmm. for my ADD. Now the thing that really messes me up about this whole story is when I went to the doctor to tell them, you know, I think I have ADD, I lose everything, I have a hard time staying focused. Yeah. Right when I got off the scale, the first question from my doctor was, oh, well, you know, what's your eating and diet like? Instead of actually addressing the problem, that was her main concern. And she ended up saying, oh, you have binge eating disorder and you have ADD, so I'll give you this medication yeah, to suppress your Which will your impact your appetite. Exactly. Yes. And I did that for about a month and I felt awful. You know, although I was motivated to work out all the time and, you know, super focused yeah. mentally, it would just make me feel awful. Well, and here's what happens, though. When you start losing weight, 
you start getting the positive reinforcement from the exactly. outside, right? It's like, girl, you look good. How yes. are you doing this? And yes. it, it's crazy. It's like if somebody's too thin, oftentimes people don't tell them they're too thin until they're really too exactly. thin, right? Exactly, yeah. But you start to lose weight to the point where it became a concern. Your mom said, yeah. look, let, let's get this under control. Uh, you did, mm -hmm. but you started uh, gaining an audience on Instagram because you kind of showed a little bit of your journey and you mm -hmm. showed you at different sizes, but the thing was you showed you as you. Yes, and that's the thing, like starting off as an influencer and for any other girl that's watching this that's wanting to get into it, it's so easy to look at what everyone else is doing yeah. and be like, oh, I gotta do this to get to gain that yeah. type of success. And I realized that wasn't sustainable for me. I'm gonna go to the, I say this all the time, um, T.D. Jakes, Reverend T.D. Jakes, I remember he said, how are you supposed to be a leader if you're too busy hanging with the pack? That right? Part. So if everybody exactly, looks the same, yeah. yeah, that part, right? That part. If everybody <laughs> all looks the same, then who's standing out? Exactly. And authenticity, I think, is what people are so attracted to. Somebody who has confidence. You can say, yes, I can see when things may get out of control. Mm -hmm. I'll fix that. But here I am today, yes. in this hour, at this moment, this is the real me. Yes. How did uh, Lizzo get to, to notice you? Oh my gosh, crazy story. So um, around, like right during when like quarantine started, um, I had posted a video on my social media platforms and it was a video of me in high school and I was saying shout out to y'all that called me fat in high school now I'm a plus size cheerleader and yeah. it went viral on all platforms it went viral in the shade room and I sent it to Lizzo and she was like I'm so proud of you like keep pushing like keep going like this is amazing to see and she DM'd me back and was just like and I DM'd her and I was like you know what thank you like if I've you been ever... DMing her for like uh, months <laughs> I was like, if you ever need a backup dancer, hit me up. And she was like, I'll take you up on that. And about a year later, the show was announced and I was DM'd to audition for it. And how cool that she remembered. I know. And like, even when I first met her on the show, she was like, my TikTok FYP. And I was like, she remembers me. I had like goosebumps like the entire show. But. Yeah. And then you, you got to perform with her on Lizzo on, on SNL mm -hmm. uh, with their music videos. And I saw that. And yes. then um, with the show, you, you didn't make that final cut, but what you have that stays with you is the experience for oh sure my gosh, yes. and y'all are all still friends because you went through something together oh yes it's a sisterhood and we all just like you know it was part of being on the show is that that was a sisterhood that I never knew I needed you know we're all going through so many different experiences but we still have that one connection that we're all curvy we're all plus size yeah. we've all been told no because it we, is so hard for a size exactly. two to commiserate with you right your, your size two it, friends to go well exactly maybe you try doing what I do I eat kale once yeah, a day yeah. right? I'm like, it doesn't work for me but yeah we all have that connection of just you know being told no and Lizzo giving us the opportunity and saying yes and our lives has changed since then so yeah yeah it's been awesome. and your life has changed and oh keeps moving gosh, forward yes. you're modeling now yes. and you're you still have your your followers your influencer so I'm, I'm gonna ask you a favor because yes. I tragically cannot dance I, don't I am believe it. see you're saying you don't believe it but <laughs> at the end of the show if you like teach me the hottest thing Lizzo's doing right now. Oh my gosh, I mean, gosh, the closest I get yes. to Lizzo is to do her TikTok dance. You will do we that? We can do it, Okay, yes. you'll want to stay tuned for that, people. You don't oh, want to miss that. I'm okay, so all right, you can watch the entire season of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls on Amazon Prime. For more information, visit greatdayhouston.com. My dance teacher is right here. Her mama's here too, so she can see. She can help me out.